Back to it now. Joining me is Mayor Deb Rogers, spokeswoman for the United West. She's also the former mayor of Williamsville, New York. Uh, mayor Rogers, good to have you on the program. Hi, Steve. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, great to have you. Uh, some wild billboards. Uh, President Donald Trump will be in Butler, Pennsylvania tomorrow, returning to the scene of his near assassination. I think that's uh, a testimony and courage there going back to where he was shot back in July the 13th. But there's some wild billboards and so forth going up uh, about Kamala's anti-energy initiative. I mean, I don't understand. It's been pretty clear since I was a little boy. It's always been obvious that America runs on vast quantities of cheap energy. That how, that's how we dominated world markets and the world economy and made America wealthy. And they keep trying to strangle that, which means they're trying to strangle America. Where, where am I wrong? Well, I think, Steve, you're absolutely correct. Um, Pennsylvania, as you know, is the number two state in oil production just behind Texas. And uh, the economy, even though perhaps not everybody in Pennsylvania is tied into the fracking uh, community, it's just a big deal for our economy. Um, as a nation uh, with uh, border security, uh, it will just increase transportation costs, food costs, if Harris is elected and uh, successful at banning it. Yeah. Frack you, Kamala, are, are the billboards. Have you, have you seen this? I, I have. Well, I've seen, I've seen pictures of them. Uh, I'm from the state of Pennsylvania, and uh, they are a digital billboard campaign that they're launching. The billboards will be changed up about every four to five days. And currently, there is one outside of Philadelphia and two about 20 minutes outside of Butler, Pennsylvania, which is where President Trump will be um, in a few days. Yeah. So do you really think you, you I think you mentioned you're from Pennsylvania, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Why would Pennsylvania vote in favor of Kamala Harris and this anti-energy agenda? I mean, it powers not only the economy of Pennsylvania, it powers America. And, and people have got to understand that. And, and I look at, I just don't, I, I guess I'm just confused. I don't, un, I do not understand how a, a thinking, rational person could vote for somebody who was given not a single press conference, can't do a, an interview that's coherent, can't answer a question about what she's going to do about the economy, except I, I was raised a middle class kid and so what, so were millions of us, and it doesn't make me qualified to have a policy to run the country, although I'm more qualified than she is, I dare say. Um, how could anybody support that? To me, I don't, I don't see how a rational thinking person could support that at all. Well, I think what you just said, a rational thinking person, uh, what the whole premise of this billboard campaign is to target those um, registered Christian voters who did not vote in 2020. So for example, in the state of Pennsylvania in the 2020 election, there were 1.5 million registered Christian voters who did not go to the polls that year and vote. And consequently, Biden won the state of Pennsylvania by a mere 80,555 votes, to be exact. And so our whole premise of this billboard campaign is to really target um, the Christians who sat out in 2020 and say, look, you know, this is a pivotal election that we're dealing with this year. And we need to almost a call to battle for Christians to get to the polls and cast their vote for the values and what they feel is important for their families, for their future, for their grandchildren, their children. We need to get everybody out to vote who didn't in 2020. Uh, clearly, if you had a million and a half Christian voters who didn't vote, I, and I would say, why not? Were, were they um, put off by Donald Trump? Were they just too busy? You know, they had a church social. They were doing a what? A, 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 no. a potluck <laughs> dinner? I mean, they're at a potluck dinner at the local Baptist church. They couldn't make it to the polls. Come on now. What's up? Yeah. No, actually, Steve, you hit the nail on the head there. Uh, most of the Christians in the survey identified they did not like Donald Trump's character, his, his maybe perhaps moral character. And what I would say to those Christians is, you know, as a, a believer of faith uh, myself, I would say that, you know, there is a word that's very powerful. It's called grace. 
And um, I would also go on to say that you're not necessarily voting for a person, but you're voting more for a movement, a movement of electing an individual that will value what you value and support, most importantly, freedom, freedom and liberty. That's what the Trump campaign is all about. It's about freedom and liberty. Uh, yet the Democrats always seem to want to spin that and say they're the party of freedom and liberty. But I would um, beg to differ with that opinion. And one need only go back and look at the COVID uh, hysteria that we faced under the Democrats. Sure. The and, 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 you know, and here's and something else, by the way, when it, when it comes to faith and so forth. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been I've been following the Jewish vote, which, by the way, is pretty large in Pennsylvania, larger than some states. The Jewish population is four and a half, about four, four and a half percent in Pennsylvania, and they all vote. The Jewish people vote at a higher level than than other uh, subsects of the population. And as a result of them leaving the Democrat Party this time around, it could mean about 50 or 60,000 votes to Donald Trump. That's a big step in, in a state that was carried by 80,000 votes. If, if 50,000 Jewish voters uh, come across, that's a big step. We get some Christian voters that come across, that's a big step. And people that are just worn out by the economy. If the election were held today, you, you know Pennsylvania far better than I do. What would happen today? Well, you know, Pennsylvania is the key of keys to the White House, right? It's uh, nicknamed actually the Keystone State. And as you know, it holds 19 electoral votes. So if you, if you look at the, both the Trump and Harris campaign, they seem to be heavily targeting um, that state. And today, you know, the problem is, is the cities, the cities like Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, those folks seem to get out to vote. And they always seem to be the tail that wags the dog, right? Sure. At least it did, certainly but, in But who wins today? Well, who wins today? I, I'll tell you, if we don't get the registered Christians out to vote today, in my opinion, Harris wins the state of Pennsylvania. There's your warning flag, folks. You got to vote. Flag. You got to vote and, and vote early if you can. Go do in-person early voting. Whatever is allowed in Pennsylvania, you got to fight like a Democrat. You heard it from the mayor. She's telling you right now. Uh, Absolutely. Mayor Deb Rogers, greatly appreciate you being here. You come back anytime. When we get close to the election, we'll have you back again to talk more about it. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you so much. All right, we'll find out. Now, everyone knows the next medical crisis, just around the corner, could come in the form of a pandemic or something more mundane like a, an insect bite. But you need to be prepared. Look at the folks in North Carolina. They needed to be prepared. Well, the wellness company is there. They've got great medical kits. Doctors like Peter McCullough put together these kits that you can trust, prescription medical kits, the gold standard when it comes to keeping you safe and healthy. The medical emergency kit, the contagion kit, the first aid kit, the travel kit, all contain prescription medications that you need and guidebooks to explain the use of all of them. Anthrax, tick bite, or a hurricane, you need to be ready no matter what happens. And the wellness company has a kit ready for you. Rest assured you have antibiotics, antivirals, antiparasitics on hand to keep you safe no matter what happens, natural disaster or the globalists. TWC.health slash Gruber, the place to find out more and save 10% with the promo code Gruber. TWC.health slash Gruber. Don't be caught unprepared. Don't be caught unprepared. That's all I'm telling you. TWC.health slash Gruber. I'll be right back.